everybody, this is Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet today. I'm not going to review a wig for you today, but I do want to bring you a look at a product that I've really grown to love over the last couple of weeks. Um, Julie from Square Bands sent me a few Square Bands to try, and uh, that's S-Q-H-A-I-R Bands at uh, squarebands.com, and I'll list the links below. Um, these are very, very unique. Now, everybody knows how I love to accessorize my wigs. Um, I'm all about that. I love putting things in my wigs. I like making it look as natural as possible. The problem with certain accessories, especially those headbands that have just one level of tension, is that they can be too tight or too loose. Um, this band is different. So if you take a look, it's kind of um, a slightly square shape. It has hinged sides, it has rubberized arms, and rubberized teeth. So this is going to do a number of things. So um, by having these hinged arms here, it only delivers the amount of tension you need to keep this in place. It's not, um, it doesn't hurt your head. In fact, you don't even know that it's on. Um, but yet it is so very secure. So um, these rubberized arms keep it into place. All you do is insert the arms where you want it, move it into place, and instead of uh, tamping down the hair and really just causing a lot of friction on the hair, it just sort of gently props it up. And I think this is why this is so unique because a lot of times if you're using traditional hair bands, I'll show you what I mean, um, something like this. You know, this is kind of flimsy, not very uh, sturdy. So when you place it in your hair, it's just, it wobbles all over the place or it's too tight. It can come out, it can shift. So as a wig wearer, I definitely want something that's secure. That's very important to me. Um, and I have found that in this product. So I have the one in now. This is the black one with some opal rhinestones. And I have a few to share with you. There are so many different options. So this is actually the white one, and this one has uh, five rows of crystal rhinestones there. They're very lightweight, actually very reminiscent of sunglasses. So if you wanted to change up your look or just remove it for a period of time, um, you can fold them up, put them in your pocket, put them in your pur purse. Uh, very easy and portable. So here is the one in leopard print. Isn't that adorable? Also with some bling on the sides, some crystal rhinestones. So they come in all different colors and patterns. Let's see if you can see this came along with the packaging. So you have some uh, solid colors there, including some really bright yellow, red, orange. And then um, you have the leopard print, including an aqua and a red leopard print. There's some hound's tooth, and then another one that they have called cracked paint. And I may even have a cracked paint here. I think this is what this one is. Kind of looks like a tortoise shell there. So many different options. The price on these is, runs anywhere from $12 to $20, and you can customize them. They have tons of options. So back to the square band itself. I, I just don't, I forget I'm wearing it. It's so crazy. I've just never had a product that sticks into your hair, is totally secure, and feels so light and comfortable. Um, I mean, I could literally do cartwheels in this thing, and it's not going anywhere. Um, very, very secure. Yet, when you take it out, it just, it comes out. It's got these hinged arms, again, like I said, only giving you the amount of tension that you want. So when you go to take it out, you just slightly spread the arms and remove it from the hair. It doesn't pull or tug on the hair. It doesn't cause a lot of friction in the hair. Um, it's just so awesome. So there are lots of times that I use a headband, um, a lot of times at work, because I'll be um, at my desk in a, something that's really tedious and task oriented and I don't want hair flopping around in my face but at the same time I want to wear long bangs so what I could do very easily is just take out a square band insert them where I want it 
gently pull it into place and guess what that is not going anywhere it doesn't drag through the hair it doesn't push the hair down um, it just gently props it up so that you can leave a little bit of fringe and I'll go through some options with you too I wore it in a variety of ways I even wore it with a really short pixie this week just to just to see how it looked and I love the way it looked um, I didn't necessarily need to hold my hair back but it was a really cute accessory So I'm showing this to you today. Um, this is the Raquel Welch Stop Traffic in SS 1524, which is the Shadow Shade Champagne. So again, this is the black. So darling. So the other thing too is a lot of times you might be out and about at this in the summertime or anytime really, and you have your sunglasses on and you decide you just wanna prop up your hair so you take your sunglasses and you kind of move it up in there. Um, it may or may not stay. It may or may not stay. And also, it's really putting a lot of stress on the arms of your sunglasses. Now, if you're like me, <laughs> buy cheap sunglasses. I've got a ton of these. Um, but that's not the case for everybody. So you certainly don't want to do that. Plus, if you're out and about at night, you know, who wants to wear sunglasses on their head at night, right? And you may, I'll grab a different color to show you here. This is that uh, leopard print here. So you may just want to wear the headband and sunglasses. And you can't do that if your sunglasses is holding your hair back. Um, so just super cute, and how fashionable are these? I think whoever came up with these is just really genius, and they probably didn't even realize that it's going to appeal to all of us wig wearers out there um, because it's a nice, secure way of uh, holding back the hair without harming the wig. So we love, we love, as wig wearers, we love security, number one, right? We don't want stuff flying around, and uh, you know, number two, we want to make our wigs look like real hair. We want to wear them like real hair, and this gives us that opportunity. Um, they come in a couple different sizes. 90% of the time, or maybe more, you're going to just get the average size. They do have a larger size for people with really thick, coarse, uh, heavy hair, um, which is going to be most of us, I'm sure. So... So what I love about it too, because I could be, you know, I could be at the office and just really want to keep the hair out of my face. And then at night, take it out and wear it down. Or do something different with it. You know, put the band in in maybe a little bit of a different way that creates a different look. Because it doesn't tamp down the hair, too, and holds it perfectly into place, you can create these really cute, propped up sides and things that you can achieve a lot of neat styles with it as well. I was playing around with it this week. I'll show you a few of the wigs that I was using to do that. But yeah, I mean, I was just so shocked at how secure and comfortable these are. It's pretty amazing. So what I think I'll do for you now is go ahead and um, show you a couple of wigs that I did use these on this week and how I wore them so that you can have an idea. I just love these things and how reasonably priced they are. So from now until July 31st, you can actually use a code, my code, my discount code called TAZ, T-A-Z, at uh, www.squarebands.com to get a discount on your square bands. And I think that's at least $3.99 value on these. So um, that's a pretty good discount. All right, I'll be right back. Many of you have seen my review on this wig. This is the Sonoma by Renee of Paris. And Sonoma is just 
known for all of these heavy curls and tendrils around the face. And they're real sexy, but they can get in the way. So uh, this summer, why not try a square band? This is excellent. So I just inserted it. I pushed the arms in, pulled it up where I wanted it to be. It kind of gives you, it still allows you to have all this sexy fringe around the face but yet it gives you a little bit of a different look, almost like a little updo. Because again, this doesn't tamp the hair down. It just props it up, because you put it right where you need it. So how I did it, see how easy that is. <laughs> so when you put on your wig, you want to figure out where to put this. Just take the arms, insert them there, and then if you want to start in the front, you'll pull more hair back. If you want to start further back, leaving all that sexy fringe around on the outside. I mean, easy peasy, and it's literally, <laughs> not going anywhere guys still can't get over that <laughs> I'm just amazed so um, also if you wanted to do um, something completely off the face and this is something that you may not have normally done with uh, with a standard cap wig with no lace front and no mono top you might uh, shy away from doing an off of the face do but with something like this because it's not gonna be pulled severely off of that hairline, it just kind of props it up. This might actually work out. So if you go ahead and insert the hair band, square band, kind of leave it towards forward a little bit. So here, you can see that it's off of the face. I left a little bit out here at the sides but it's off of the face. So the, the bulk of that hair is away. And because it isn't drawn severely and tightly away from the wig line, you can't sense the wig line at all. You couldn't do that with a normal headband because guess what would happen? You would put it in and because it was so far forward, it would end up just falling out. have another style coming up. So what I have on now is uh, the Renee of Paris Ivana and Rose Gold R. Absolutely love this wig. I did a review on it if you're interested. Um, but it's not a wig that I tended to wear to the office because I felt like all of this beautiful hair and the shape of this style just wasn't real practical for me working at a desk all day. So, um, and, and you know, I to take pins and things, you just kind of ruin the style that way too. I mean, you still want to be fashionable, right? So why not take a square band, and I did this. So I wore this to work, and then after work, my husband and I went, uh, we went out to dinner, and then we went grocery shopping. Um, so what I did all day is I just inserted it here. it where I wanted it. Now this has a lace front and a left mono part, but it was super cute and out of the way for day. I can still have a very super cute style, have all the fashionable styles that I want without it being in the way. So I was like this all day long. I didn't even know it was on my head. So when I was done, <laughs> When I left the office, I took it out, put it in my purse, and we were off to dinner. So it's just so versatile. I am really going to make a habit of wearing the square bands with a lot of different styles. Okay, be right back. So here I have on the ever gorgeous Sarah by John Renault which is right now my very favorite long curly style. 
Um, so what I, I did a couple of different things using the square bands this week. So the first thing that I did was just the traditional hold back style. Now this is a full mono top and lace front so I can wear this very much off of the face and it would still be inconspicuous. So that in itself is really cute. So then I thought, well, if I can do one and have it look so cool, why not two at the same time? Just for a little bit of added bling and fashion. So here I have a double. I don't know what made me think of that. I just absolutely love these and was playing around and decided, well, I could wear all kinds of colors and just uh, stack them. I could probably, in a long wig like this, I could probably get three together and create a really cute style. And super secure, even in this long hair like this. So, um, what I can also do is, on a, style, a long style like this, just take it directly off of the face, expose that beautiful lace front, pull some hair up here. It almost looks like a little bit of a, an updo. And you couldn't achieve this with the regular square band, or with the regular hair band because this is a lot of hair. And, and any other band that you get wouldn't have probably enough tension to keep that style like this. So if you wanted to pull some hair up, prop it up. Cute. Cute for summer. Wood. Pull more hair back. My point is that you can, even, you can wear all the way to the back of your head, all the way to the front, somewhere in between, and you're going to get just as secure of a fit, just as comfortable and secure of a fit as you do in any other position. On so then I got to playing around with my Raquel Welch crowd pleaser this has a beautiful lace front by the way and I left mono part um, it has this really cute side sweeping bang that maybe I don't want sometimes maybe I just want to hold it back whether it be because I'm at the office or whether I just want to be uh, more cool in the summertime by pulling it off putting the arms in, positioning it, pulling it back exactly the where you, where you want it, and it'll stay. I love these curly styles. I love using these bands with these curly styles because the, the curls, when they're held back in the square band, they just frame the face so nicely. It's so doggone cute. on this wig as well um, but sometimes I just want less volume you know you want to take a wig that you love and make it different so I've got a square band here I'm gonna try I think I'll put it right in the
wore it a lot last summer. Um, and I love it. Very cute, lots of little shaggy layers and things. I love it down, I love it spiked up. It's just a very versatile little pixie. Um, so I wore a headband with it, square band. has a mono crown on it that does not have a lace front or anything. So what I found was, that's real cute, just wearing it up like that. I actually think I had more of the sides pulled back when I wore it. and fashionable fashionability <laughs> all right everybody thank you so much for tuning in today to taz's wood closet see you next time